Cinderella Once upon a time, in a quaint and cozy cottage nestled deep within a magical forest, lived a kind-hearted and gentle girl named Cinderella. Her heart was as pure as the sparkling streams that flowed through the forest, and she was cherished by all the woodland creatures. Cinderella spent her days tending to the needs of the forest animals, singing sweet melodies and dreaming of a world filled with enchantment, living in the cottage left behind by her deceased father. But her life was far from the enchanting dreams she harbored. She had two stepsisters, Anastasia and Drizella, and a stepmother who treated her unkindly. They imposed upon her the never-ending burden of chores while they basked in luxury. Despite her hardships and the unkindness she faced, Cinderella remained steadfast in her belief in the magic of kindness. One day while cleaning the attic, Cinderella stumbled upon a small, friendly mouse named Gus Gus. This delightful mouse would soon become her dearest friend and confidant. Meanwhile, in a grand palace not far away, a royal announcement echoed throughout the kingdom. An extravagant royal ball was to be held, with the intention of finding a suitable bride for the charming Prince Charming. Cinderella's stepsisters, Anastasia and Drizella, were thrilled by the news. They believed this was their golden opportunity to win the heart of the prince. As the day of the royal ball drew nearer, Cinderella's stepsisters grew increasingly demanding and selfish. They insisted that Cinderella sue their elaborate gowns for the event. Cinderella yearned to attend the ball herself, but her stepmother and stepsisters were cruel, leaving her heartbroken with tears in her eyes. Yet, a magical twist awaited her. A fairy godmother, a shimmering vision of stardust and kindness, appeared out of thin air in her time of need. With a wave of her wand, Cinderella's tattered rags transformed into a resplendent gown, and her worn-out shoes turned into delicate glass slippers that sparkled like stars. The fairy godmother converted a pumpkin into a royal carriage and her mouse Gus Gus into a well-dressed carriage driver. Her fairy godmother cautioned Cinderella that the magic would last only until the stroke of midnight, urging her to leave the ball before then. Cinderella arrived at the royal ball, her radiant beauty and grace captivating everyone, especially the charming Prince Charming himself. He took her for a dance and was mesmerized by her. However, as the clock began to chime midnight, Cinderella remembered her fairy godmother's warning and fled from the palace, leaving behind a single glass slipper. On the way, the mouse and the pumpkin started turning back to their original form, but luckily no one at the royal ball saw it. Cinderella hid from anyone what happened that day fearing that her stepsisters might torture her. She also buried in her heart her love for the prince and any memory of the day she had with him, knowing that it was just a good dream which was far from her reach. Prince Charming embarked on a kingdom-wide quest to find the mysterious maiden whose foot perfectly fit the glass slipper. When he and his guards reached Cinderella's cottage, her stepsisters attempted to force their feet into the glass slipper, but it was only Cinderella's delicate foot that truly belonged in the slipper. Recognizing Cinderella, Prince Charming proposed to her, and she joyously accepted. They were married and lived happily ever after. Children, remember that kindness and goodness always triumph in the end, just as in Cinderella's story, a tale of love, hope, and the enduring magic of a pure heart. Save this story and listen to it some other time. Don't forget the moral of the story, and subscribe for more such stories to come.